guys, I'm Hannah. I go to school at Hope College in Holland, Michigan, and I am spending my May term in Liverpool, England, uh, studying humor. And I'm there to really answer the question, what do British people actually think of us? What do they think of our humor? What do they think of their humor? And then what do they think the differences between them are? So let's go. England. It's best known for its historic metropolitan cities, such as Liverpool and London where the streets are full of things to do and people to see. The Beatles, of course, who cannot mention the Beatles, and the birthplace of Abbey Road and the Cavern Club, Harry Potter, and tourist destinations such as Big Ben. But comedians such as Ricky Gervais, Stephen Fry, Simon Pegg, and Charlie Chaplin have given England something else to be proud of, a comedic identity unlike any other in the world. While some think we are two in the same, in the U.S., our humor is defined by rule breakers, like Will Ferrell, the unbreakable Eddie Murphy, and the powerhouse duo of Amy Poehler and Tina Fey. If you could describe Americans and their humor, one, in one word, what would it be? Um, oh goodness, <laughs> over the top. <laughs> Okay. <laughs> Do you like American humor? Of course, my cousins are American. Okay. Um, but obviously, British humor is funnier. <laughs> Maybe a bit dry, but um, yeah. Sometimes I, I find it hard to get American humor, but um, it's still funny. <laughs> uh, um, who are some of your favorite um, American comedians or comedic actors? Oh, that's easy. Um, Kevin Hart. Okay. Eddie Murphy. Um, Goodness, and um, Richard Pryor. Okay. Um. Oh, the old Bernie Mac. Oh yeah, of course. Bernie Mac. Um. So if you could describe British humor in one word, what would it be? Um. Dry. Okay. <laughs> Quite dry. So okay. you've got to really listen to to under, You've got to listen to see that it is. Um. It's a joke. Um. American humor, I'll say, is. It's a weird one because um, British humour can be quite offensive. Um, they're both quite similar. But I think because of the accents, um, American humour, you can tell it's a joke. Whereas British humour, sometimes you don't really know whether to laugh or not. Okay. Yeah. Would you say one is more crude or like vulgar than the other? From what I see, um, American humour can be quite crude. Um, so if you could describe American humor in one word, what would it be? Wacky. British humor? Uh, more reserved. Okay. Um, if there's like a couple American comedians or comedic actors that you like, who would that be? Jennifer Aniston. Okay. Jim Carrey. Do you like American humor? Why I or why not? Love it. Love it. Love okay. it, yes. Um, how would you describe British humor and like the differences between the two? Um, Quite difficult to understand by Americans. Okay. Yeah, very difficult to understand and quite dry. I love American humour. I think some of my favourite comedies, um, Parks and Recreation being one of them, and The Big Bang Theory seasons from one to five, um, they, they represent a kind of humour that is family orientated and it's got values. Uh, that are very funny, very interesting, very intellectual, um, and quite well harmonious, really. So, do you think there's an aspect to American humor, like a stereotype that it's more vulgar or crude? Well, I would consider that that '70s show compared to our English equivalent, which would be the the young ones. Um, that '70s show, whereas it sort of like flaunts with authority, it does so with a very respectful way, in comparison with. The young ones, which is completely anti-establishment, and does it in almost an anarchist way. In fact, one of the characters is an anarchist. And then, what about British humor? Do you think that it has a crude kind of side to it compared to American humor? I think I've I've witnessed British humor over three or four decades, and it has increasingly become crude. Um, what used to be kind of family-orientated humour, which was in its heyday, heyday of television, the, the Markham and Wise show, um, the Carry On Team, uh, etc., is gone 
rapidly downhill to the point now where no subject seems to be out of bounds. Uh, no subject is, is, is sacred. Um, and most of the stand-up comedians, they would simply uh, swear or, or point to parts of the human anatomy and take them as, um, as, as things that are less than honourable. Who are some of your favourite American comedians or comedic actors? One of my favourites um, is the Raymond, uh, what's what's the, the, the show called? Uh, everybody Loves Raymond. Everybody Loves Raymond. Uh, Ray Romano. Raymond Romano. Yeah, yeah. Um, absolutely wonderful that the, the team provides such entertainment. They're so classy in the way they deliver the lines, the way they interact with each other, the chemistry they have. So as a team, I, I love that. And as a situation, I love that. I love Parks and Recreation. Um, I loved when I was younger, my girls were younger. I loved that 70s show. I think it was it had a certain amount of chemistry. In its, in its first few series, as it got older, I think they went too far with that. Um, so I think, I think the American humor and Seinfeld, I could list several, several parts of American humor that we get over here. I'm not sure of the stuff that doesn't reach our shores. Perhaps they, they sort of uh, tailor it and select it so that it's palatable to the English taste, but the, uh, the American comedy is yes. If you could decide or describe British humor in one word, what would it be? Um, disrespectful. I think there are, there are exceptions to that, but because we've been conditioned in our taste to accept disrespectful as a norm, respectful humour almost seems quite dull and quite safe and not cutting edge. So it's lost its punch. There's a difference between British and American humour, and if so, what would that be? I think if I was given a choice, um, the British humour is more pushing the boundaries, more disrespectful to authority figures, um, whereas the, the American humour, I think, it takes into situations in a more sophisticated way, in a more family orientated way. In a more, the values are quite clearly different uh, between what is the core values of the, of the American situation and the core values of the British situation. And I think the word respect is the one that, that, that respect for authority. I think in America, they still have a sense of respect, even though they tease it, and even though they will, they will look at it sideways and look for ways around it, ultimately they all submit to it. But in, in British humour, the respect issue is ultimately they, they are still rebels. Hi guys, I'm back in America and I just want to do a little recap of what we learned over in Liverpool about humour. And uh, as you can see in the video, there were some differences um, between what people thought of American humour and British humour and the differences between the two. So listening to Gonan, um, Sue and Michael, the ladies kind of thought that American humour was a little bit more wacky and crude and Michael thought the opposite saying that it was more respectful which is interesting uh, to see the difference there. It could be something to do with generation I suppose. I know it's a very small subgroup of the British population but um, I hope it gave um, a new insight into what you uh, think about other cultures and their humor and what people think of us. I also think that we learned that in general British people kind of think that Americans are a little bit left out of the joke sometimes because it, their humor is so dry and ours is so much straight, so much more straightforward. Um, so we have to keep an eye out for that when we are dealing with British humor. So in conclusion, I hope you guys learned a little bit more about what uh, British people think about our humor and their own and really uh, the differences between the two and uh, what we find funny. So thank you for listening.